Hi, welcome to clickmyproject.com. The title of our project is Web Based Client Processing System. Web Based Client Processing System is a complete end to end solution to cover all aspects of online client and pre enforcement system. The basic objective of developing this project is to provide complete website solution, include employee registration, entry new client, approve reject client, complete web based administration. The web based client processing system can automatically display pending client count in the main page of employee of client process department. Employee can view the client status online in all clients can be created as pending, approved and rejected. Employee of CTD can add, edit employee detail. All employees are identified by the employee number. Employee number will be unique throughout the system. System must store audit trail of all DML transactions. Like it store employee number, timestamp in the database for add, edit, delete operation. System should capture the login time for all the employee. Complete the base system. No installation required to run the application in the client system. Employee must able to view his or her previous client status. Now let's see the data flow diagram of our project. The level 0, that means login, validation is checked. He can view record for claim. He can accept, reject or process the claim. If the claim is accepted, he can send mail to the employee and to the bank. In the employee part, the employee can log in. Validation is checked. He can request for claim, view status. If it is accepted the claim, he can view the mail. Now let's see the demo of our project. This is our home page. The user is going to register, so click register button. The employee ID. The employee name. is gender. Age. Address. City. Contact number, email ID. This email ID should be a valid email ID. Any important message will be forwarded to this ID. This designation, username, password, retail password, date of join. Click sign up button. This registration part has been over successfully. So he's redirect to the login page. Click the username. This is the employee dashboard. The employee can request for claim, view claim status, post query, and finally log out. Now I am going to request for the claim. The, the employee code and the name is displayed automatically by using the session. Select the reason for claim and browse the proof of the claim. The claim amount. If you enter the amount more than 20,000, an error message will be displayed because the amount should be less than 20,000. So I am giving 15,000. The proof for this 50,000 should be attached in this claim document. Click the submit button. The request has been sent out successfully to the admin. The employee can view his claim status. The employee has request for two clients. The status was not still yet updated by the admin. If the admin update the status, the status will be updated here. Post query. The employee can post query. Process the claim fast as soon as possible.
the status will be viewed by the admin he can also view the replay from the admin for the query he has updated he has not received any reply the employee role has been over he can finally log out now it's the role for admin now the admin is going to log in the username is admin and password is admin click the login button this is the admin dashboard the admin can view the employee claim the to total number of pending claim will be displayed if he press the download button he can view the claim page for as demo i had updated an imt page the admin can update the status he has to select the claim id click the status update button view the claim id the status can be accepted processing or rejected if the admin select the accepted then the claim amount has to be given he has request for 15000 that admin can either give 15000 or amount less than 15000 now i am giving 15000 the status has been updated as processed and he can send me the admin can view the queries of the employee the last updated query is process the claim as soon as possible pass so now he is going to reply for the query click this button select the request id type the query click the update button the query has been updated the admin role has been over he can log out thank you